What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs, Doki Flax, Sonic 17 here, back with more Doki Doki Papa's Parfait Goal, which is a mod for Doki Doki Lurcher Club. The last time we saw him play, it was time to share poems again and everything. And after they got done doing that, they had to do a little practice poem recitation and everything. But the end has, has me buzzing still. Like, how did Natsuki's dad know that, that Natsuki had to write a couple poems? But then again, it could be Monica's tampering. Anything is possible. But it's time to see what this part of the mod brings. Time to dive in, and let's do it to it. In the morning, I hear Papa busy in the garage. It seems he's recovered quite a bit of his strength. I'm still worried about him, though. Maybe I should stay home today to keep an eye on him. I don't think that's a good idea. On the door, be on the door between the living room and garage, I can see he's going through things looking for something. Except for the badges, he seems fine. For the time being. Papa? He looks over towards me and frowns. What are you doing here? You're going to be late. Since you're feeling better, maybe we can do something to fun together? No! Get out of here! Get out of here! I thought I made myself clear earlier. But... Sheesh. Shit, I've got him. Mix is right there by having toes at me! I came here all the time, it doesn't hit me. He never touches me physically when he throws or swings things at me. But, it still hurts. It's still affecting him. But you gotta be careful. Let's know I cause him such pain just by being here. It's still rough for Natsuki, honestly. I mean, can you blame her? Anyway. I had to be the first one first to arrive at the club room today. I'm double checking both of my poems when Yuri comes in. That's right, Natsuki wrote two poems. She wants to make sure that she gives MC the right one. Hey, Yuri! Are you feeling better today? Yeah, that little... That moment between Natsuki, Monica, and Yuri. That still also has me buzzing. Anyway. I am quite well today. Thank you for your concern. Okay, it's just... I'm worried about what happened to you yesterday. Sayuri. Just that, Sayuri, Sayuri walks through the door. I, I would prefer not to not discuss that now. Sure, no problem. If you need, if you ever need someone to talk to, well, of course. Coming up to, uh, to talk to us, Sayuri slowly walks to the far corner and sits down at a desk. No, no, speaking about someone that might need somebody to talk to. It's obvious that Sayuri's depression is hitting her hard right now. Worse than I've ever seen it before. I'm pretty certain Yuri doesn't know about it though. What's going 
going on with her today? Let me talk to her privately. Jay said he wanted to get Paul's out of the park. I walk up to Sayuri. You doing okay? Of course! Are you excited for the festival? What's with that look? I make my voice as quiet as I can make it. How are you and your roommate getting along today? Hmm, interesting. So you know once described her depression as being like living with you know, me and roommate. I found it's nice to I found it's nice to speak way to talk about to her about it. Well, Will! You're taking a mess like you should, right? Of course! That look said. That look tells me otherwise. I look at her questioningly. Same here. I am! Sorry, jeez. You know I'm only asking because I, I care. And I don't say that just to anyone. Sad Yanks of to me if you would like to walk home with you yesterday. I know she's trying to chase the subject away from her depression, but I don't think pushing her more about it will help. I am a little late up here with this and would like some details. Really? Well, I suppose maybe it could be nice. So you're giggles. I think you two are going to be very happy together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Judging by Sayori's expression, I know who came in. Before I can punch, before I can punch her, you hear a commotion by the door. Oh man. That's what you again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Seems like everyone has finally arrived. Good fun! I'm just gonna sit here a while. Are you sure that Steve? See you have me helps me more than knowing you're talking to me because you're worried. I look out for Mary, I didn't leave. So she could be better, better fight her also demon. There. I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival too. <laughs> ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? We didn't complete it all just yesterday, Natsuki. Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. That's a whole day at school. We get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound like a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. That's good, I think. I suddenly realized this is the perfect time to see how Side X responds to my favorite joke. Oh, is that why? <laughs> Is that why Natsuki said that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Baka, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a specific, that's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people! Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. 
Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica! Does that pose again? Eh? That's why you said my name at all. Also, don't, don't you think so such a translation? Inside the X. It just looks really confused. Uh, never mind. Let's just focus on a little bit for now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> fine, fine. I'm a little saddened by their response. I always thought the puppet used to make that joke. I guess I'm the only one here that likes Japanese parts. Giving the X is only as fun as Yuri as I is anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayuri anyway? Sidex looks around the room. Oh, there you are. You must have just uh, you must have just noticed she's having a bad day with her with her depression. Since the best friends, probably knows how to help her with it better than anyone else is here. Best leave it to it. Monica? <laughs> what? What's that mean, necessary Natsuki? I mean, you're my favorite, but I didn't think you you, you make a sa savage quote right like that. <laughs> Monica laughs. Well, since I have ever worked to fill out for the best world, that would that would be a feat. Here for Yuri. Monica leaves her heads to the teacher's desk. I chuck her at Monica, but didn't see Yuri's face. Usually, she's okay with the occasional friendly joke at her expense, at least from us. Sometimes she can be a little sensitive about given how cruelly she's been teased by others in the past. I watch her for a bit, but she just fills with her hair. That jeez. She thinks we were serious this time. Oh, come on! You know we were just messing with you. I gave you a light punch in the arm. Yeah. I didn't mean to hold her. Sheesh, Natsuki. I'm so sorry. I didn't think I hit you that hard. You did. It's just my arm has been a little a bit tender today for some reason. Let me take a look. Maybe there's something wrong. That, that's okay. You really, you really don't. I give her. I give her a look, tell her that I'm not taking no for an answer. Your sides. Fine. But as you can see, there's nothing there. She's right. I don't see any trace of a cut or cut or bruise. Not even any scars. It doesn't hurt exactly. But I'm naked. I need to touch her arm. Oops. Yeah. Oops. Right there. Sorry. Maybe you should go to the nurse and get checked out. It's bigger and better on its own. It doesn't it doesn't even really hurt much, except the touch. She rolls her sleep back down. And I do know none of you think I'm more boring than paperwork. Maybe it's my arm. Maybe it's something else. I just feel a bit off today. I look over towards the area where Sunny X is still talking to her. You're not the only one. If you don't mind, I think I'm a to just read my book right now. 
sure. No problem. I go to the closet in order to get the next file of what Van goes to be with Sidey X. Even with the stool, it isn't easy to read the covers from the shelf. Sorry. Even with the stool, it isn't easy to read the covers from the shelf we put them on yesterday. So it takes me a while to find it. I wish I could move them to the barn, but those shelves are all just full of supplies. I know the teacher would just make Monica move them. Eventually, I'll find what I'm looking for and then to go find Sidey X. Man. I see Sidey X sitting at a desk by himself, just looking at the wall. Don't tell me he's been down today as well. He's concerned for Sayuri. Or maybe he's daydreaming about me. I blush a little. Hey, you! Uh, eh? Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? It isn't much that it isn't that much time, so. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried! Just I thought you were thought you were thinking of me. You're embarrassed by the thought to say anything, so I just looked down at the book in my hand. That's right. You forgot? Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Oh right. Sayuri, she's... Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. Maybe... I said we didn't feel like talking about it or anything. Why did I ask that? This little soul that got everything under control with her. Are you sure about that, Natsuki? Nah. Probably make it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I just think about Sayuri, that's all. S Sayuri? Think about her? Why is he still so worried after talking to her? He find out she's even worse than she looks? Oh god! Is this suicidal? Oh man, I didn't think Natsuki was gonna have that thought. Damn! Yeah, she seems pretty down today. Well, duh! But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Something appears to click into place. So I guess doesn't know about Sayori's depression. Yeah. I feel a sigh of relief. No wonder you're so worried seeing her, seeing her like this. He doesn't know what's going on. I'm a little surprised she's never told him since they've been best friends since childhood, I think. True. But I guess Siri sees her as a buddy and not a cop. Not confided. So she's kept it hidden from him. Well, first of all. You should really work on your phrasing. Anyway, you're a best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I was not the first person since she hasn't told him, but I can't break Sayori's confidence. Shut up when she's ready to plan to know. True. Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. Especially Sayuri. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. No lie, but it helps keep but it helps keep her secret. Yeah. That's kind of what she said to me. 
Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly! If she needs to worry about her, there'll be a lot more obvious. Though if it, though if it gets to that point... Yeah. I should have thought of it but that way from the start. Sayuri is worse than I've ever seen her, though. Maybe I should tell him what's really going on so he can help keep an eye on her. I feel guilty at the door of bringing Sayuri's trust, though. Man. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell him. Sayuri will figure it give me when, she, when she's feeling better. Uh... I don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. Oh, jeez. Does he think I'm jealous of him and Sayuri? If there was anything going on between them, that she may have set this says up for the first place. I think I see why Sayuri hasn't told him about depression. It can be a bit... It can be a bit clueless at times. No one would be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... Okay, maybe not... Okay, maybe not totally clueless. I'm still not ready to tell her how I feel in person. I was not! Jeez, you're fine. Let, let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like hardly any time passes with us kindly eh, needed to get on the floor before Monica calls out to the club room. Okay, we what? Why don't we show up homes now? My stomach is my stomach is butterflies at the door of a read uh, special poem I wrote for him. I follow him to where he sat his bag and watch him take out his poem. Let's see! You're silly enthusiastic today! Of course! You know I like to write I'm also excited by the idea that maybe he wrote another poem about me! I'm just surprised. It seems like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course! I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean... It's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that! Or oh, jealous! I mean, was a jealous! Oh, jeez, I'm rambling! <laughs> Just because you happen to be a good writer! That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about! <laughs> okay, just shoot me now! I don't know about that, Natsuki. Natsuki! You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Eh? Why do you ask that? Why would I be confident about my writing unless I thought it was... Unless I... Unless I thought it was bad. Unless... He thinks it's bad, but he said before he liked it. What are you talking about? My writing's obviously the best. Right? Boys get goals... They like... Compliments, even if they're not true. So if he says he likes me right, it means he likes me. Right? He's not saying anything. He doesn't like me enough to, to even give me a fake compliment. Sunny X, please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from... You! Someone! I know I sound stupid! There's a reason I never showed my poems before this! Natsuki! Because... They're too personal! I'm making a fool of myself! He doesn't love me! Why would he? I can't let him know about... Let alone my feelings now! Just don't ever take me seriously! We're 
What's the point sharing my poems and people would just laugh and say that's so cute, just like you, Natsuki? Sometimes I don't want to be cute. But nobody understands that. I try to be hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... I can't go on. I'm on the verge of tears. I don't want to see me cry. I want to tell the poem I wrote for the part, but I can't. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you rip your own poem. He gently takes the poem from me and carefully places it on the desk and smooths out the wrinkles. Don't read it! I, I snatch it away! It's not any good! And I know you hate my poems! So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. Why? Because I like your poems. I really do. I can't feel my poems like I asked. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think your style is more amateur than hers. And Sayuri? She always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah. I guess I never really thought how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're, you're a lot more than that. Really? Where am I? Do you see who I am? I'm 18 now. I'm an adult. Or at least I should be. Do you see the woman I want to be that is trapped within this appearance? Do you see the little perfect girl I enjoy being but embarrassed to show? I want to be mature. I want to be cute. I want to grow up. I want to enjoy childish things. I want Papa to forget about me. I want to be with him forever. I want to tell you how I feel. I want you to never find out. I am just so... conflicted. Man, that's a range of emotions right now, isn't it? <sighs> Man, I really gotta feel bad for Natsuki right now. who I am or what I should be. So how can you? Uh, Natsuki, you're doing it again. If it is, I'm making it my poem again. I want to know if Sandy explodes me. And I never will if I don't tell him how I feel. I force myself to put my poem on the table. You can't read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to... Look at my face right now! Okay. I will. He turns around and begins reading my poem. I begin to cry. What if he rejects me? Man. I'm so scared! And now I'm com- I'm now committed! I write my face real quick so it won't be too obvious! He just reading and turns around to look at me. He doesn't say anything. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. Eh. I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Just say that, Debbie. What do you think the poem already is? Expressing things that you can't just say? Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. 
I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. He liked it. He's happy that he read it. There's no way. There's no way even he could miss have missed its meaning. Well, yeah. Which means he accepts my feelings towards it, but he isn't saying he returns them either. Is he shy? Is he confused? Is he trying to spill my feelings? I'm a pro, so just remember that I can think these things sometimes too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's <laughs> wonderful, incredible, amazing, meaningful. Uh, I'm glad. And I guess that's all going to get. And I guess that's all I'm going to get out of him. You start to hear my poem back to me. I don't want it. Eh? Yeah, it's a love poem. Why not? I'm already upset that he doesn't say he loves me back. I don't think I can handle him not wanting to keep my love confession. I just don't. Jeez. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Does he really- does he really keep it? Or is he just trying to spare my feelings? Either way, it's better than him forcing me to take it back. God! If he did, I would... cry like a lovesick little girl? Man. Never mind. Just, I'm glad that you want it. I keep telling myself that he really does want it. It helps. That's all for now. So, no point away before someone sees it, okay? Uh, yeah. I'll go do that. He does his seat to put my pole away. I smile as he doesn't just toss it in his bag, but carefully places it inside one of his textbooks where he won't get damaged. Over, I still feel as confused about him as before he read my poem. I don't expect a more definitive response as to whether or not he liked me. Well, it's time for Sayuri. I go to Sayuri to check out her other the case I'm sharing my poem with her. She has her eyes closed, but isn't asleep. Share poems? Oh, let's keep poems! I, uh, I didn't write one. I didn't feel up to it. I get it. It's hard living with something like that. So she did write one. That explains it. You have no idea. Possibly no, but my father. I trail off, unable to finish my sentence. So he just looks at me questioningly, though. That's the same as what I need. Yeah. My dad has a problem similar to yours. He doesn't always take his medication like he should. My birthday. I think that was a mistake. I think that was Natsuki that was supposed to say that. I, I don't know. I didn't know. I'm, I'm confused right now. Well, it's not something I really like talking about, even with friends. Just like you haven't told Sadex about your condition. Please don't. Hey. I already figured out you got a reason for not telling him, even though you told me. Did Sadex ask you to walk to walk home with him yet? Wait. Did Sadex ask you to walk home with him yet? I don't. 
No, not yet. Well, don't worry. I think you will today. Have a plan. I admit, I'm a little scared as to what she might have have in mind. That's okay. I I think we just need time to figure out what we stand with each other. Are you sure? No, I'm not. Sayuri notices my hesitation. I'm sorry, I just... You should go and share with someone that actually wrote a poem. Please don't worry about me. I'm not walking home alone today. What? I just said please don't worry about me. I, I just said please don't worry about me. When you... When you do it makes, makes things hard because then I feel bad for making you worry. Okay, I hope you get better soon. As I... <clears throat> Man. As I walk away from Sayuri, Yuri surprises me by walking up to me with her pole. Usually she waits for me to come to her. I am eager to see what you wrote today. for a bit. Honestly, I've been curious about yours as well. Hmm. We had each other over our poems. Yuri's reading, reading Yuri's poem, I'm a little surprised by it. It's still too worrying, but for once I'm able to put some me out of it. So, first of all, I'm going to be up front and admit that it isn't too bad. It doesn't win the not conceal of approval, but I didn't I didn't actually get what you're trying to say. It's about change, isn't it? How not only does nothing last forever, but maybe you even decide to change yourself? Thank you. I didn't actually intend to put any special meaning into it like that. Maybe I did Maybe I did subconsciously, but I'm glad you're trying to look for metaphors in it. She hands me my palm back. And for opening yourself up so much with your palm. I'm so sorry. Yui's crying. Is he really doing that bad? I'm stuck! I didn't think even Monica would have grasped its true meaning. And Yuri can be surprisingly observant at times. Man, Yuri, it... Man, I hate seeing the Dokis cry. Hoppa! So troubled, so worried. I wish I could be like the page and wash him his pain away. I start to cry yet again. How can I still have any tears left to me when how much I cried this week? I don't know. He's not taking care of himself and... He's back to doing things when he sees me again. I managed to at least get him to eat a little bit, but that's it. I, I'd be there with you if I could. You know I would. I know, but... But right now, I'm, I'm all alone trying to help him. If, if the opportunity ever arises, call me. Man. I sadly not. Collect my poem and leave. I go up towards Monica with my poem. Natsuki. She glances towards the clock. I hate to say this, but we're going to need extra time to work out for the rest of our preparations here. Oh. Oh. Oh no you don't! Not today! I 
can't not go to Miss Reed, you pull the cat! I think that was another mistake on the... I don't know, but anyway. Monica laughs! Okay, I'll make it quick. <laughs> Monica hands me a whole poem and I begin to read it. It makes absolutely no sense to me. It's not as worthy as Yuri's poem, but Monica apparently likes doing weird things with her spacing. And if there's any meaning to it, I can't figure it out. Maybe she feels a trip like the fiddle? I don't know. You'll probably find out about it soon enough, Natsuki. But then again, I did find out this is only gonna be... This is only gonna play out... For only for part... For only for Act 1. But anyway. I hit it back to her with a confused look on my face. That's been pretty much the response I've been getting from everyone for my posts this week. I've been thinking that maybe I should make them less abstract. You think? Stop doing that, Monica! Even in 2023, you do the pose. Even though you did earlier. <sighs> it's like I said, when you do that pose, it's like you're hiding something. Just saying. Anyway. I enjoy writing like this. It's fun! Hey, if that's what you enjoy, you can't do it. Eh? So, sounds like good advice. I'm going to have to cut this short if we're going to have time to finalize our festival, pre pre festival preparations. Sure. I'm just glad I finally get to rewind your poems. So am I. I turn to leave, but Monica catches my arm. Before I, Before I announce the plan to everyone, I wanted to ask if you'd be making it... If you'd be... Okay, making cupcakes for the festival. If not, what did so? We'll have, we'll have you do something different, but so you thought of it when I'll drop people in. Of course, not a problem. Sounds like a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> Monica stands up and looks around. Okay, you three. Well, then we share bones, right? Or do we start figuring out? Hold on a second! Is it just me? Or you think? Or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right! You can leave from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Your artificial intelligence? But you deny that you have a catchphrase? I know I said that in Storm a few years ago. <laughs> like I said, your artificial intelligence, but you denied that you have a catchphrase. <laughs> Monica, sometimes I'll never understand you. Jeez! Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yui isn't immune to it. I even said that it was to feel a bit off earlier today. Uh, I knew it, it was coming before she ever something terrible was about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only big difference is that Sayuri isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. Uh, Sayuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, but doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's spouse is thrown off a little, which is not real. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Now, now I think about it, I haven't seen her since shortly after trying to share my phone with her. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! I can't believe how much of a rude Yui can be at times. <laughs> Seriously? Using the bathroom is a completely normal thing. No sense in not talking about it. Uh, she actually was, wasn't feeling too well. It went home early. Seriously? Is that so? I hope she's alright. I hope so too. I'm not really worried about her. 
Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time that she's not feeling well? So much for you two being a lovey dubby. Yeah! When I say that, I know there's nothing going on between them. Maybe whatever is making everyone weird today is starting to affect me. I think it's been affecting everyone. You could just realize that now. I don't feel any different though. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayuri. And second, she's been kind of worried me today. So I didn't want to force it. Oh? What's with that strange expression Yuri has? I don't know. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier. Everything is fine. What did she say? And, and yet, MC is ignored again. Anyway, we need to figure out how to the rest of the episode provisions, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Gave my attention to that Marco thought on the exit's question. I've suspected for a while that Marco knows about Sayori's depression. More than you think. I'm not sure she does. I don't want her to be more concerned. And it's trying to help keep her secret. That means I need to play along. For now. I know what I'm doing. That's right. That's giving me really cupcakes. We may need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you hand it out all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be creating a similar other poetry pamphlets. So you may be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Uh... Wait, I got to plan Yuri's good contribution already? That pose again! Nice! Do you ever come up with something for Yuri? I can't believe Mark I completely forgot to come up with something for Yuri to do! What's up, Plato? What's up for everyone today? It's DDLC, Natsuki. What do you expect? I swear, someone spiked the tea except. I swear, someone spiked the tea except Yuri did make it today! <laughs> I gotta admit, that was funny. <laughs> I... I'm useless. No! That's not at all! I think I was starting to post it here, you know? Marcus right. Yuri has many talents. Unfortunately, I can't see how any of them would be useful when preparing for the festival. I'm frustrated I can't think of anything. I'm not just how it's you. I wasn't pouted, I was thinking. Well, it's hard to tell sometimes by your expressions. <sighs> Jeez. Even I can tell now. Guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit. But I can tell things are all even harder on you when she's not around. Now, it's not just Sayuri being missing. There's something more going on right now. More than you think, as I stated before. I don't know how to describe it. Standing air is as, as accurate as anything, I suppose. Man. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you're beautiful head, right, you know? You should make some banners and take reasons to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Uh, about that. I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that expression from Yuri. <laughs> Marcus' suggestion has sparkled a fire... has sparked a fire within Yuri. I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. Yuri enjoys art and is very creative. And I'd say it's the public assignment for her. He becomes more s seduced, but it's obvious the fire hasn't died down one bit. She's just channeling its energy into ideas. 
whatever she comes up with is going to be awesome! Your mind's already racing, I see. That's great! Give me a wonderful laugh, Yuri! Anyway, that just seems true, Sonyx! One who is truly useless. Uh, let's say that! Back! Well, that's that kid Yuri has a pretty heavy tax to handle! Before we go a long way to get more than a hit, he can always help me out as well! Help me out as well! I would be the appreciative of that! Uh... That's... I'm really glad Mario suggested this! Can we give Sonya X and I time to spend... Spend some... Time to spend some time to get away from the others without the setup being so obvious! Uh, uh, I suppose I really might be a help. Well, we need you to learn how to bake. There's already some dirty work that they give to you. It's not like Mago's gonna give me a choice, and you should be selling your butt anyway. It's only a ghost to me that he might not realize I'm joking, and I might I start mumbling. <sighs> if I'm not careful, he won't pick me. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you like to handle the bacon on your own. Sonyx may not like to be around me, though he make that be a nuisance. So therefore, he might be more suited for to assist with the decorations. Why she do it? She said she wouldn't try to get between Sonyx and I. I started to get angry with her! Oh boy. Hold on! I never said that! How hard can it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like mo Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Sonny X2! Why are you saying? It would be extremely ridiculous work. I think it isn't! Just what you think, guys! Guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Sonic to decide how you like to contribute. Besides, there's that pose again. That's why you guys just spent the time with me here, you know? So I'm sure you'd be interested. What the? Now Marga's trying to get between us? After all the time she's been trying to get us together. What gaps? You literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry! Well, I was just saying though. Jeez! Can we just sell this already? Seriously! I thought both of you would try to help me! <sighs> what do you expect? Yeah! So next, you're giving this, right? And yet, it's up to you! Uh... Well, of course! Noise towards Marco and Yuri. Very well. In that case, I'm so nervous. Maybe he doesn't pick me. Well, he actually is going to pick you. <laughs> well, bacon sounds like it'd be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work. So we could probably use two people. He picked me! He does, he does want to spend time with me! Don't worry! Make it a time of fun! You definitely agree! Eh? Just me you will say that! That's because... Wait, did anyone think I was actually going to make him do all the dirty work? Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right you? Well, of course. I'm used to it after all. Is she jealous? Just feel left out. I think it's a little bit of both. That's good. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No? I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except for the performance is gonna be awesome! Sunday. I don't think that really counts. <laughs> I 
like to see Yuri's expression again. How about you, Sonyx? Me? Uh... Yeah. Uh... I guess you can say I'm interested to see how it turned out. That's good enough for me! What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking! I'm starting to feel guilty for leaving Yuri to work by herself. But what else can we do? It's not... I mean... It's not that big of a deal or anything. Well... It may not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do, and then nobody offering to help? That doesn't mean... Wait! He's right! Somebody has seen Yuri's current behavior in a new light! work alone or chosen me inside the X. Yuri's upset because Monica completely forgot about her when making plans. Being forced to work alone is just a cherry on top. Had Monica thought to have her do decorations before the meeting instead of being the obvious last bit I did it is. None of this would be happening right now. That's true too. But then again, it's a mod. What do you expect? position to help her right now. Look! I can't really put my hand on the back of her shoulder like she does when she, when she comforts me. Yuri! You really are the most talented one here. And... And you're going to help make the event a lot more, a lot more fun and, and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're gonna make the atmosphere special! That'd be really important for the way that people feel during the performances! So... You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a lot more credit! Dummy. That last part I say under my breath so she doesn't hear because I know Yuri does dislikes being called that. Yuri smiles. Good to see. Well done, Natsuki. You did... me me that, did you? That chase, she hurt me! Uh... Uh... Not really, but... I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. That was rough. But it looks like Yuri isn't feeling as I'm appreciated now. for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any replay, so... I can see Monica considering this. I gave some regrets to her side to... Hoping she gets a hit. Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door. Um, where are you going? Eh? Yeah. We, we still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You think we have gotten home and realized that you did have a way to contact me? Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. <laughs> Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I've given you my number, okay? I'm making weird or anything. Why would I do that? <laughs> well, I suppose you won't. You won't. I've heard stories from other girls. What do you mean by that, Natsuki? I don't know. Anyway. I put my cell number into his phone. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. 
I'll bring all the ingredients! Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one help helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. We're gonna have a guy over my house. A guy would kill me. Well, not literally, but you almost certainly have a meltdown. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? You can't do anything with my dad's home. Except stay in my room and make him angry. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's novels now. That's all I need from you. I guess I'll text you while I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you. I'm really, I'm really gonna show you why I love bacon so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh. Did you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? <laughs> well, I was just saying that. <laughs> it's like I can act like in front of everyone. That's all. That I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. Except for my family. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be headed out now. See you on Sunday? Ah! Uh, are you gonna ask if you can walk home? If you can walk me home? Never mind. Walking home with him would be a bad idea anyways. Huh? Okay. I thought I thought I thought I was gonna transition and everything, but Natsuki is still in the club room, and Monica's still here too. Something's up. Well, Monica comes back and shortly after Sadiax leaves. Got everything planned out with him? Yeah, we did. Oh, she's winking again. I'm starting to think the week is worse than the pose. Good! I hope you two have a fun day together! It's not like that! Stop doing that, Monica! She laughs. You remind me of myself when I... Huh? I... Monica? She sighs. Careful out there. I know things are tough with you right now with your father, but deep down he truly does love you. Anyway, have fun! Enjoy your day with Sonyx! Be happy and live as much as you can. Be happy and live as much as you can while you can. Hope to see you Monday! Gets to Sunday. Interesting. Why is Natsuki over the, at the house at Sayuri's? Wait, it's not Sayuri's. I don't know. But I'm stopping here anyway, Hedgehog Meax. I'm still trying to wrap my brain around what just happened there. Ugh, I don't know. I mean, it is play out like the main game, but it is Natsuki's perspective and everything. This just gets more bizarre by the minute. Just saying. But I am enjoying it. I'm just wondering what's gonna happen the next time I do it. Well, no, till I do. For now, Slide the X17 signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single video or you can check out another video as you see on the screen. See ya!
Seriously, Monica?